I think that our mission is more uh, relevant today than it ever has been before because uh, uh, we are in essence have a mission which is all about sustainability and for us uh, creating healthy living environments is something which is desirable on a societal level, on an individual level and I think that that is driving our business. When we discuss sustainable buildings, the actual value is the health and well-being of the users. The cities, the communities, the suburbs is where it happens. And how we do it, how we approach it, and how we must do it in the building industry is by working in partnerships. The way our lives have evolved, our lifestyles, we are spending a lot of time inside. Think about the time you spend on sleep. One third of the whole day will impact how you feel the next day. Well, certainly without enough access to daylight and a good feeling of contact with the outdoor environment, whether you're actually outside or inside, this can lead to depression, can also lead to having difficulty focusing. We've seen in circumstances that this can also contribute to allergies, especially in children. That indoor climate is not good for our health. Then you'll see, uh, you'll see problems for the individual and for society as a whole. And as we only actually renovate about 1% of our housing stock every year, it's a problem which is not getting better. If anything, it's getting worse. Velux is actually a name that was uh, devised by a founder, Willem Kahn Rasmussen, and it's uh, pretty simple. It's V for ventilation and Lux for light, which are two of the most crucial components, of course, for a healthy uh, indoor environment. Our mission in Velux is to bring better living environments for work, life and play with our products. Our products are daylight and fresh air, ventilation and Lux. The time you spend in buildings, it's essential that the indoor climate is good for you, for your health, for your well-being, for your productivity. So it's important to be critical towards it. What is the air quality actually? Is the humidity good? Is it being optimal for your health and productivity? And today it's actually possible to make these uh, parameters tangible. You can have sensors, you can have a prompt at your uh, smartphone telling you the air quality and the humidity, the temperature, all the things that matters to how you are feeling. So our partnership with Velux has enabled this to be applied in the context of roof windows and other climatic control possibilities in buildings. We measure aspects like uh, carbon dioxide, uh, fine particles, NO2, ozone, we measure noise levels, we measure light levels, and we use a combination of sensor fusion strategy with some interesting algorithms that creates this layer of intelligence that's actually empowering healthier building. Controlling and adapting buildings to drive energy efficiency at the same time as driving good indoor climate is an important agenda. We've really engaged with the UN uh, Sustainable Development Goals uh, because uh, we believe that it is actually the duty now of a private company to, uh, to contribute to society and to contribute to the sustainable development of our world. SDG number 17 is about partnerships and in our view partnership is the glue that holds everything else together. We have to partner across generations, we have to partner with governments and institutions, we have to partner with academics and because it's only in those ways can we come up with the solutions which are really going to address the problems that uh, the UN SDGs uh, uh, seek to, uh, to have resolved and we continually work with governments to make sure that they don't have too much of a focus on a single aspect of a building's capabilities, such as its energy performance, but also consider the health and well-being of the people who are living in the building. In a way, it's our guiding principle. If we do developments, we do it by experiments. That comes back to our founder. One experiment is better than a thousand expert assumptions. Studies show that lack of daylight, along with poor air quality indoors, can have negative effects on our health and well-being. So why aren't we thinking about this problem more, especially considering that we spend approximately 90% of our time indoors, where the air can be up to five times more polluted than outside? Something must be done to improve the living conditions of the indoor generation, which is what we all have become.
Rapid urbanization and densification of indoor spaces calls for a new approach to make them healthy so that we can live in sustainable cities and communities. Velux will continue to investigate new technologies to integrate with its products and work with partners to maximize the use of daylight and fresh air in new and existing buildings so that time spent indoors will become better for both people and planet. Looking into the future, you have to be aware to make buildings that are, of course, efficient and with a minimal footprint, but at the same time maximizing uh, the qualities for the user. We pay a lot of attention to what goes into our bodies. We should pay a lot more attention to the quality of the indoor environment, and buildings pay such a large part in that.